Avoiding pitfalls. Mastering adjective plus noun collocations in English. Hello there! Are you an advanced English learner looking to refine your language skills? Well, today's topic is just for you. We will be diving into the fascinating world of collocations, specifically adjective plus noun collocations, focusing on the common mistakes and pitfalls. Our topic today is, using inappropriate collocations in context. We'll look at what these are, why they can cause confusion, and how you can avoid making these common mistakes. So, buckle up and let's get started. Firstly, let's talk about what adjective plus noun collocations are. These are simply pairs of words, an adjective and a noun, that are frequently used together. These combinations just sound right to native English speakers. Examples include heavy rawn, strong coffee, bitter disappointment, and so forth. A key mistake made by English learners is using inappropriate collocations in their spoken or written English, which can lead to confusion or misunderstandings. The common errors that learners make usually revolve around pairing an adjective with a noun that it doesn't usually modify. For example, saying, strong run instead of, heavy run. While, strong, and, heavy, might be synonyms in some contexts, they aren't interchangeable when it comes to describing rain. Another mistake is using literal translations from your native language into English. For instance, in some languages, the literal translation for a bright person may imply intelligence, but in English, it usually refers to someone who is cheerful or has a positive attitude. Remember, the combination of words matters just as much as their individual meanings. Learning the correct adjective noun collocations can seem daunting, but here are some strategies to help you master them. 1. Use English dictionaries. They often provide collocations in their definitions, which can help you learn which adjectives naturally pair with which nouns. 2. Practice and expose yourself to authentic English. Listen to podcasts, watch movies, read books, or any English content. The more you expose yourself to the language, the more you'll start to pick up the natural collocations. 3. Keep a vocabulary journal. Write down new collocations as you come across them. Regularly review and practice using these in your daily conversations. Collocations are a key part of mastering English, and avoiding the common pitfalls we've discussed can drastically improve the natural flow of your language use. It might be challenging, but with consistent effort and practice, you'll start using these adjective plus noun collocations correctly and confidently. Thank you for joining us in today's lesson. We hope you found this video helpful, and remember, practice makes perfect. See you in the next video where we continue to explore the interesting world of English language learning. Until then, keep practicing.